1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Good afternoon. I'm Don Boggs, Associate Dean of the College of Agriculture. Welcome to the College of Agriculture Spring Commencement Ceremony. I wish to thank our bagpiper, Terry Ferguson, a K-State alumnus, and, organ and our organist, Stephen Kachera, a senior in applied music and accounting for the processional music. It is now my pleasure to introduce Faith Rasmussen, graduating senior in food science and industry from Salina, Kansas, to sing our national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave Thank you, Faith, for that excellent performance. Audience, you may please be seated. Emily Harris, a graduating senior in agribusiness from Abilene, Kansas, has been selected to share reflections. During Emily's time at K-State, she has been an active leader in agricultural ambassadors Ag Business and Ag Econ Club, the K-State Wildcats Forever, and was a student fellow for the Center of Risk Management, Education, and Research. She has participated in the Agricultural Future of America Leadership Conference and was recognized as a National FFA Proficiency Award winner, as well as receiving her American FFA degree. Emily gained work experience through multiple internships with Cargill Animal Nutrition. After graduation, Emily will begin working as a management trainee with Cargill Animal Nutrition in Amarillo, Texas. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Emily Harris for Reflections. Thank you, Dr. Boggs. It is both an honor and a privilege to stand before you and reflect on our time spent at K-State. When we think back on our college experience, a few moments come to mind for all of us like the moment of panic as we were lost trying to find our first college class and having no idea where Wander's Annex was. The moment of maturing when we realized we couldn't use hashtag freshman's probs as an excuse for everything we did. The moment of complete exhaustion, frustration, and a little delusion as we studied late into the night for an exam or worked hard to finish a project. The aha moment when we actually listened to our professors and gained some valuable knowledge and advice. The moment of adulting when we learned, on, learned how to live on our own and how to cook our own meals without setting the fire alarms off. Sorry roommates, that took me a full four years. The moment we made the decision to go out with friends and make memories rather than fretting over homework. The moment of experiencing the K-State family as we tailgated and getting ready to cheer on the cats. The moments of relief because we finally felt like we had our lives together. However, that was soon followed by a moment of panic because we really did not have our lives together. The moment of relaxation when we spent with friends at Pillsbury Crossing or hiking Contra Prairie, or the multiple moments of denial that our time at Manhattan was coming to an end. And lastly, the moment of accomplishment as we walk across the stage and become alumni of Kansas State University. 
These moments are what have made us grow up, gave us perspective, made us pri prioritize, taught us about ourselves as well as others, and made us into the people we are today. While many of the moments throughout college are different for many of us, there's one similarity, and that is that we were never alone. We've had people with us every step of the way, and I can say with pride that I've had the opportunity to make some of my favorite memories, as well as spend the best four years of my life with many of you. Now, as we begin the next chapter of life, no matter where it takes us, how, how much distance comes between us, or how well educated we think we are, don't forget the smaller but vital moments, like when we made the decision to become a Wildcat and attend K-State or when we decided our passion for agriculture was worth making a career out of. It's because of these smaller moments that complete strangers from across the world were brought together, and why those strangers would become our friends, and how somewhere along the way, those friends would become our family. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. As we begin the program, I will introduce the platform party. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Beginning on my immediate left is Dr. John Floros, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension. Dr. April Mason, Kansas State University Provost and Senior Vice President. Dr. Bob Brockelman, Retired Farm Credit Administrator and Director of Development for Dale Carnegie Training. Dr. Shannon Washburn, Assistant Dean in the College of Agriculture and Dr. Zia Wiley, Assistant Dean in the College of Agriculture and an Interim Associate Provost of Diversity. In the second row, this row can be seated if you want, in the second row is Dr. Alan Featherstone, Head of the Department of Agricultural Economics, Dr. Chris Boone, Head of the Department of Communications and Agricultural Education, Dr. Joe Harner, Head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering, Dr. Gary Przinsky, Head of the Department of Agronomy, Dr. Candace Shoemaker, Head of the Department of Horticulture, Forestry, and Recreational Resources, and Dr. Ernie Minton, Associate Dean of Research and Graduate Programs and Associate Director of Research for K-State Research and Extension. Continuing on my immediate right is Dr. Sharon Thielen, Assistant Dean in the College of Agriculture, Kurt Lockwood, a graduating senior in Agricultural Economics, Emily Harris, graduating senior in Agribusiness, Faith Rasmussen, graduating senior in food science and industry. And seated in the second row, Dr. Ken Odie, head of the Department of Animal Sciences and Industry. Dr. John Unruh, professor of, the food, of food science and industry. Dr. Gordon Smith, head of the Department of Grain Science and Industry. Dr. John Ruberson, head of the Department of Entomology. Dr. Daryl Buholtz, associate director of extension and applied research and Brad Seidner, the Senior Vice President and COO of the K-State Alumni Association. Thank you and please join me in thanking our, our stage party. <laughs> We're very pleased that you have joined us today for this uh, spring 2016 graduation and commencement uh, ceremony for our College of Agriculture. Today we are assembled to honor an excellent group of agricultural graduates for their many accomplishments. However, we also wish to acknowledge some other very important people who made it possible for our graduates to succeed, and that would be the family members who are present here today. We have many spouses and children, parents, siblings, grandparents, and great-grandparents with us today. Will all of the family members of our graduates please stand and be recognized at this time? Pretty sure in my 11 years here, this is a record crowd, so we do thank all of you for, for being with us today. In addition to our great students, we are fortunate at K-State to have many outstanding faculty in the College of Agriculture across the whole campus, uh, but many of ours have distinguished them th themselves through excellence in teaching, advising, extension, and research activities this year. Their names and, and awards are listed on pages 50 to 51 of the commencement program, so we do ask you to check and uh, see who all of our award-winning faculty were for the year. We also want to thank all of our faculty for their total commitment and their support of our students and our college. 
Uh, they are what makes our college and our uh, great and really uh, provide an excellent opportunity for our students. So with all of our faculty who are present here today, we have a lot here in, in, in robe, but there are others in the audience as well. But all of our faculty from the College of Ag, please stand and be recognized at this time. And thank you very much. At this time, we will recognize and congratulate those students who are graduating with university academic honors and those students who have completed the university honors or the College of Agriculture Scholars programs. Dr. Shannon Washburn, Assistant Dean for the College of Agriculture, will announce the names of the honors and scholars program graduates. Dr. Washburn. Students, as I read your names, please stand at your location and remain standing until all in your group have been introduced. Students graduating with an overall GPA of 3.75 and, and above on at least 60 K-State credits are designated cum laude. The cum laude graduates are Christine Bartley, Jacob Beck, Jared Borick, Aaron Brinkman, Stephanie Brown, Peyton DeLong, Jonathan Finley, Emily Harris, Broderick Kyle, Joshua Mitchell, Ellen Newalt, Christina Novak, Mayra Perez Fajardo, Faith Rasmussen, Stephen Westrup, and Emily White. Please join me in congratulating our cum laude graduates. You may be seated. Graduates who have attained an overall GPA of 3.85 or above on at least 60 K-State credits are designated magna cum laude. Our magna cum laude graduates are John Bergkamp, Richard Biswell, Audrey Boken, Brett Bullinger, J.C. Busnitz, Krista Curtis, Lauren Drummond, Nicholas Feef, Elizabeth Harner, Jill Holcomb, Emily James, Kenneth Garrett Kays, Elena Kevern, Aaron Clausen, Nathan Larson, Brett Lynn, Kale Mueller, Christopher Mushrush, Nathan Peterson, Jordan Roki, Hannah Ruder, Lance Schroeder, Matt Seiwert, Elizabeth Stone, Levi Vogt, Evan Woodbury, and Yui Young. Please join me in congratulating our magna cum laude graduates. You may be seated. Graduates who have attained an overall GPA of 3.95 or above on at least 60 K-State credits are designated summa cum laude. Our summa cum laude graduates are Megan Angermeyer, Ruth Bartle, James Baugner, Benjamin Coombs, Amanda Dainton, Bailey Endicott, Ransom Gardner, Austin Ingram, Amanda McGuire, Megan McLaughlin, Chase Miller, Caitlin Onoka, David Olberding, Kyle Pfeiffer, Samantha Prester, Elizabeth Stitzel, Connor Stuckey, Lucas Sudbeck. Please join me in congratulating our summa cum laude graduates. You may be seated. We have six graduates who have completed either the University Honors Program or the College of Agriculture Scholars Program. These graduates have completed a project under, under the supervision of a faculty member and have completed advanced coursework to earn the distinction of Honors Program Graduate. At this time, we will recognize our Honors and Pro Scholars Program graduates. Please stand as I re read your names. Harrison Helmick, Nathan Loudon, Emily Plapp, Elizabeth Stone, Lucas Sudbeck, and Yui Young. Please join me in congratulating our Honors and Scholars Program graduates. You may be seated.
It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Bob Brockelman as our commencement speaker. Bob Brockelman was raised in a large family in Oakley, Kansas. He credits his high school teacher, Howard Wallace, for encouraging his involvement with FFA, serving as a state officer, and majoring in ag agricultural education at Kansas State University. As a student at K-State, he was active in an agricultural education club and student council, and was a College of Ag student senator, and was an active member of Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity. He earned a bachelor's degree in ag education in 1970 and a master's degree in adult and occupational education in 1972. Bob taught high school vocational agriculture students for five years in Norton, Kansas, before returning to Manhattan to serve as the secretary, executive secretary for the Kansas FFA and Young Farmer Organizations. For the next six years, he was a manager of employment and trainee development for Farm Credit Bank of Wichita, where he was responsible for the selection, training, and placement for all Farm Credit Bank and association positions in 95 communities. Bob Brockelman completed a doctorate at K-State in 1988 and was promoted to Director of Human Resources Services. From 1994 to 2007, he directed the employment and training areas for U.S. Ag Bank and their associations. In 2008, he was promoted to Vice President of Recruiting and Selection for FCC Services, Inc., and he retired from Farm Credit in 2014, but continues working as a Director of Business Development for the Dale Carnegie Training. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Bob Brockelman. Thank you for that kind introduction. I'm going to have to hide that in material a little better. Yeah, I grew up in a family of 12 out in Oakley, Kansas on a farm. A family of 12, six boys, six girls. My dad always said he had a six of one and a half a dozen the other. And I happen to be the third oldest and the twelfth tallest. You have to think on that one a little bit. <clears throat> I'm married. My wife's named Bunny. She was born on Easter, same day I was, nine hours after she was. And I was teasing her one day that uh, she's the only older woman I ever dated, and she said, well, you're the only short guy I ever dated. So she... <laughs> When we grew up in a big family, it was not unusual for 14 of us to sit down and have a meal. And I know I had plenty to eat because when we asked for seconds, they said, you have had plenty. <clears throat> no, really, we had plenty, we had plenty of food. But it's hard to believe that 46 years ago, I sat in your seat. And all I remember was it was in Ahern Fieldhouse. I do not remember who the speaker was. I do not remember a thing that was said except I know it was very hot, and I couldn't wait to get it over with. So that's uh, the experience we had. Now we have air conditioning and the comforts of the world that you're very fortunate to have. Next six to seven minutes, I want to address my message to you, the graduates. This is a special day. All of you ought to have a big smile on your face. You've worked hard for this. Your parents are here. They're proud of you. And by the way, this is a day when the parents think they're getting you off their payroll. <laughs> and you're going to start paying your way, right? You know, we'll see what happens. I have th we have three kids, three children. My, uh, my oldest daughter, she's here. Uh, third grade teacher for the last 18 years. My oldest son is an airline pilot in Atlanta. And my youngest son is a pediatrician in Kansas City. They married three wonderful spouses. Uh, all of them are K-State grads, including Bunny and I, except one graduated from KU. But you know what? He's a great guy for a KU grad. And we just <laughs> love him to death. They do produce a few good grads over there. You know what? Life is going by so fast. You think about it, it just seems like you're probably in kindergarten. Then you're in junior high, then high school. And that's probably one of the first times in your life you really had to make a decision. What do I do? So you decided to go to K-State, which is a, a very, very good choice. But think how fast that time flew. Your life is going to fly by that fast in the future. It will just happen. So I think back on my life. End of my freshman year in high school, somehow I got elected to a FFA chapter reporter. I'd never been away from home. 
family of 12, you just go to church and school. No trips. We didn't even go to the restaurant to eat. Can you imagine you have 14 seats? <laughs> Not easy. But my ag teacher came out to the farm and he said, talked to my dad and he said, is there any way Bob can go to FFA camp? And you can imagine what I was thinking. I'd never been away from home. I did not want to go. And I'd just broken my arm two weeks before that play in Tarzan with my younger brother Tom. And my dad looked down at me and said, you might as well take him. mean, any good to me like this. <laughs> it's a true story. I went to camp with a bad attitude because I didn't want to go. I didn't do what my ag teacher asked me to do. And I failed. Did everything wrong. But on the wet ride home, that I thought I was going to Europe when I was going to Rock Springs Ranch from Oakley. And on the way home, I got to thinking, how come those other campers had a good time and I didn't? Why did I spend my time feeling sorry for myself? And I look at that as a turning point in my life. It really was. And I got really involved in FFA and the rest is history. Following summer, I'd help my dad in the hay field and I had hay fever real bad. I was rubbing my eyes and sneezing and coughing. And he stopped the baler, and, he, and he, the only time he ever stopped the baler was when it wasn't working. And I said, Dad, what's wrong? The baler's working good. And he said, yeah, the baler's working good. But look at you. You're very miserable out here. And I know you love agriculture. But you can be involved in agriculture in different ways than being on the farm. He said, you need to get involved in FFA, have an FFA project, get summer jobs, and probably go to K-State. He had an eighth grade education, but he is a very wise man. That's when I decided, this sounds pretty good to me right now, the way I was feeling. And I went to K-State and majored in ag education. So I credit my dad and my ag teacher as that very important part of my life. When I got to K-State, my advisor was Howard Bradley. He's no longer living, but what an awesome person. I bet a lot of people here know him. I call these little pushes in life. Pushes that you're going to get through life, whether it's been from your parents, whether it's from a, super, a future supervisor, a colleague, maybe brothers and sisters. But listen to them. They can make a, have a changing impact. I'm going to talk to you from my heart today because I've observed a lot of things in my career and I've worked with a lot of college graduates which has been a total joy. You see I've been 21 but you have not been 68. And I'm going to try to explain to you some of the things to expect between 21 and 68. I'm going to assume you want to be successful. You want to have a good personal life. You want to feel needed, and you want to feel secure about your future. In reality, that's what life is all about. You know, I think the second most important decision you ever made was to choose Kansas State. The very most important job you're ever going to make, the most important decision you are ever going to make, is when you choose the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. And I'm very blessed to be married to Bunny, 43 years next month. What a special wife you've been. As you go through life, focus on what you have and not what you don't have. That's very important. Don't spend your time worrying. It takes a lot of energy. I was recently observing a stress conference and they asked the tables in the meeting room, they said, just talk around the table for a few minutes, what really stresses you out in your life? And this lady says, I'll tell you what stresses me out. I've gone to work on the bus for 30 years. And I worry every morning whether the bus is going to be there on time. 
I said, well, that's interesting. How many times has the bus been late in 30 years? She said, five times. And I can tell you the dates. <laughs> Isn't it amazing what we worry about? Sat next to an 86-year-old on an airplane. She's white-knuckled on the seat. So I thought I'd see if I could calm her down a little bit. I said, so you fly much? <laughs> no, this is my first time and last time. I said, you know, really, you probably are in more danger driving to the airport than you are up here in this airplane. She said, Sonny, you don't understand. I'm not worried about hitting something up here. I'm worried about hitting the ground if something goes wrong. It's amazing what we grow, build up in our mind to worry about, isn't it? Don't tell everyone about your problems. 90% of the people don't care and the other 10% are glad you're having problems. <laughs> so don't do that. Have fun at work. If you do, people are going to want to be around you. And you know what else? People are going to notice. If people put you down, don't let it get you down. Normally, they're individuals that don't like themselves, and they think misery likes company. So don't fall in that trap. I often wonder how someone that is given so much can accomplish so little, and those that are given so little can accomplish so much. It's really true when you think about it. There's four keys to success as you begin your new journey, your new job. Number one, do what's right. There's never a wrong time to do the right thing, and there's never a right time to do the wrong thing. Do what's right. Second thing is do everything to the best of your ability. If you fail, that's okay. The first thing I recommend you do if you fail is go tell your boss. There's nothing infuriates them more to hear it from someone else. Now, you have the right to fail as an individual. You do not have the right to cause other people to fail. Whether it's your spouse, whether it's your children, coworkers, supervisors. You do not have that right to make them fa fail. Show people you care. Help other people receive recognition and give others the credit. That will make your life better too. Keep a positive attitude. You realize 65 percent of the people have a bad attitude on the job today? That's totally in your control. So if you have a positive attitude, it automatically puts you in the top 35 percent. And as you sat here today and received your degree, I hope you realize how special it really is. Only 6% of the people in this world ever receive a college degree. You're one of the 6%. Continue to develop your communication skills, both oral and written to the fullest. That will help you gain in, at work. Dale Carnegie, a farm boy from Missouri, wrote many books about the working environment and how to be successful. He talked about a lot of principles that make people successful. Some of them were don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Smile. That's a simple one, isn't it? All of you should be smiling today. It's a wonderful day. Become genuinely interested in other people. Be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. And the only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. Today, there's many laws and disagreements going on. We have federal laws, state laws, city laws, county laws, in-laws, outlaws. There's all kinds of laws. We have to quit fighting. It's getting so bad that now Batman is fighting Superman. Two of our national heroes, and now they're fighting. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for you folks. Do you realize there's 10,000 baby boomers retiring a day? 10,000. That's going to open up opportunities. So prepare yourself as quickly as you can, because you may be asked to do something very significant before too long. You know, it's interesting. One of my concerns, 36% of graduates leave their job in less than a year. 78% leave their job in less than two years. 
I'm not promoting that you do that. I hope you give a job a chance before you leave it. Baby boomers are very critical of you, of today's graduates, because of that. They say you don't show up on time and you have no loyalty. You can prove them wrong. Now's your chance to prove them wrong. And I will tell you, throughout my 46-year career, I've never seen someone promoted that was always late to work. I know um, balancing your life is very important, and I agree with that. And I learned it from a student in a class. I was talking to some classes. And I asked him, I said, what's really important to you as a college graduate? And, and uh, what you look for in a company, and came out and said, paid time off. I went to second class, and he said, paid time off. I went to third class, same thing. I said, well, would somebody help me understand why that's so important? He said, yeah, I'll, I held up his hand. He said, I'll explain it to you. My dad and mom both worked hard. They gave me everything they thought I wanted, except what I really wanted. It was time with them. When I went to college my first year, they divorced. Tore me up my first year. You see, I don't want a life like that. I want a life. I understand where you're coming from. So who's right here? The baby boomers who would give up some of their family for work? Or do they think family's important? Keep on thinking family's important. Another concern is many people feel you're going to major in agriculture. You have to be from the farm. That was true back in 1966. See, we never saw any ladies in our classrooms in 1966. Zero. Today, almost half of you are ladies. Half the work, uh, majors at K-State are women. I'd like to ask Morgan Wiltsey to stand. I'm going to shock her here. Morgan? Morgan, you're the new type of ag student from Wichita, Kansas. Thank you. Proud of you. And I'd also like to thank her parents, Troy and Andrea, for supporting her with her decision to become a K-State Wildcat and major in ag. Are they, would they stand? I don't know where they are. They're here somewhere. <laughs> Finally, I want to give you some guarantees you're going to see. Change will not go away. It's only going to go faster. Two days ago, I saw on TV that they were testing a hyperloop that's supposed to go 760 miles an hour to get people to work. That's faster than an airplane. No matter how well planned, change will not be trouble free. All of you are accountable for making that change possible. Today, everything, everyone wants everything faster, cheaper, simpler, and better. In closing, <clears throat> if you want to be happy, for an hour, eat a steak. If you want to be happy for a week, go on a cruise. If you want to be happy for a month, buy a new car which I wouldn't recommend because you're trying to get off your parents' payroll. <laughs> if you want to be happy for a year, win the lottery. But if you want to be happy for a lifetime, be significant in the workforce by helping others be successful. You will feel good about yourself because you too will be successful. Remember, your smile is your logo. Your personality is your business card. How you leave others feeling after an experience with you becomes your trademark. My congratulations to the graduating class of 2016, the College of Agriculture at K-State, EMA. Thank you, Bob. We'd also like to take this opportunity to recognize Bob Brockelman as this year's recipient of the K-State Ag Alumni Distinguished Alumnus Award. Uh, this award was to be given out two weeks ago, but Bob was in Georgia on some family business. So at this time, I'm going to ask Dean Flores to present Bob with his award.
Kurt Lockwood is a graduating senior from Caney, Kansas, and has been selected to deliver the graduate address. Kurt will graduate with a major in agricultural economics and a minor in political science. During his time at K-State, Kurt has been an extremely active student leader. He has held officer positions in the Agricultural Education Club, College of Agriculture Ambassadors, Pre-Law Ambassadors, and Blue Key Senior Honorary, as well as being a member of the Ag Student Council and the Meat Animal Evaluation and Livestock Evaluation Competition teams. Kurt has been, an act, has been active in K-State Student Governing Association, serving three years as a College of Ag student senator before being elected as the Speaker of the Student Senate last spring. Kurt has completed internships with SEVA Animal Health and the Kansas Department of Agriculture, as well as working with donor, rela donor relations for the K-State Foundation. Kurt also participated in an international leadership seminar to China. Kurt has received numerous awards during his time at K-State, including his American FFA degree and recently being named a Dean of Student Life Outstanding Graduating Senior Award recipient. After graduation, Kurt will be attending law school at the University of Richmond. Please welcome Kurt Lockwood. So we finally know what it feels like to be sitting in Bramlage in our graduation gowns and tassels about to be called alumni of Kansas State University. It is the moment we've been anticipating and working for for the last four years, or in my case, five. The ceremony symbolizes our time in college and the effort it took to get to sit in these seats. It also is symbolic of a new transition, a new chapter in our lives that has yet to be written. Like many of you over this last year, as a graduating senior, I've been posed a variety of questions. Everything from, what are you doing next year, to have you found someone to marry you yet? The question that has always left me the most speechless, though, is if I'm ready for the real world. The question is always initially concerning because I wonder if there's another universe they only tell graduates about, or if I haven't been living in the real world these last few years, where exactly have I been? All sarcasm aside, I completely understand the intent of the question. Life is changing as we know it, and it is important to recognize we will be entering a completely different environment than the one that we have been surrounded by. However, this afternoon, I'd like us to imagine this transition as less of what we are losing and more of an extension to what we have built while here at Kansas State. When thinking about what has made college so great, a few things come to mind. K-State football, call hall ice cream, and of course, the lack of substantial life responsibilities. Ultimately though, to me, what really has made my college experience unique is the environment that has allowed me to prosper. A place where we are pushed out of our comfort zones, encouraged to take risk, and encouraged to try again. The critical piece to this unique culture lies with the people. The one thing I love the most about the College of Agriculture and the thing I believe others become jealous of is our sense of community. It is more than just knowing where our food comes from and that GMOs aren't going to kill us that binds us together. We are truly a tight-knit family that look out for one another. This can be felt as soon as you enter a classroom in Throckmorton or speak with any one of our academic advisors. Whether it's struggling through genetics class together or proofreading each other's resumes, we haven't gone down this road alone. In fact, we've had a lot more than our fellow graduates to thank for getting us to this point. Without the assistance of our parents, families, friends, and professors, there isn't any doubt that we wouldn't have made it this far. And the amazing part to me is that we haven't been expected to. Why, when we walk across this stage today, do we have to? The value of community is ingrained in the agricultural industry. Service isn't just a buzzword thrown around, but instead a deliberate action that is taken each day. What greater service is there than feeding an ever-growing world population? As I begin to imagine leaving this place and entering the real world, it isn't the hard work that it's going to take to be successful that scares me. As agriculturalists, we know what it means to be dedicated to a task and the value of taking risk. As, agri as the real challenge I've been dreading is leaving behind the community that we've been welcomed into and have helped create. My hope is that we don't view today as a loss of that community, but instead a chance to continue to grow and provide that community to others. To take the support and encouragement and the K-State sense of family to the communities and people we are about to join in the real world. While we will each be leaving a piece of ourselves in Manhattan today, be sure to take a piece of Manhattan with you into this real world we are about to enter. Congratulations, graduates. Go Cats. Thank you, Kurt. Before we proceed to the degree ceremony, we are pleased to have Brad Seidner, 
Brad is the Senior Vice President and COO of the K-State Alumni Association to bring special greetings on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association. Brad? Well, good afternoon, graduates. And again, welcome, family and friends. Well, on behalf of the Kansas State Alumni Association, representing over 180,000 living graduates of Kansas State, we'd like to offer our congratulations on this special accomplishment here today. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to inspire and lead with lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I'd like to share three of the core values that guide us in our mission to help keep you connected to K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend upon to remain connected to your university. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities across campus, across the country, and even internationally. Another value is tradition. Today you will likely celebrate some K-State traditions, such as singing the alma mater, or maybe stopping and taking the KSU photo at your favorite spot on campus. And the third value is purple. That's right, K-State purple. Because for us K-Staters, purple is more than a color. It's a symbol of pride and connection. Because when you see someone wearing K-State purple, or wearing a K-State class ring, or showing off their K-State license plate, you immediately feel that sense of family. I'd also like to share that in recognition of your graduation today, your College of Agriculture and the Alumni Association are providing you with a one-year membership to the Alumni Association. And we hope you'll always be an active member of your Alumni Association. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, you are now part of one of the top five alumni associations in the nation for the percentage of graduates that are members. Well, that loyalty is shared worldwide by generations of K-Stater who, who, um, who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you earn your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association was also pleased to present to you today an exclusive alumni business card holder and we hope you enjoy it, and as you go through life and your addresses change and your titles change, please be sure to keep us updated because we want to make sure that you always stay connected to your K-State family. Again, congratulations on this special accomplishment here today. Be proud of your university, wear your purple with pride, and as always, let's go K-State. Thank you, Brad. Graduates, we have a few additional announcements for the degree ceremony. College of Agriculture is pleased to provide a complimentary five by seven professional photograph of your graduation. One photograph will be taken on the stage and a second photograph will be taken by the backdrop at the rear of the seating area. Please pause and turn toward the camera to make sure you're ready for your photos as you come across the stage. Family members, if you want to take pictures, you may do so from behind the roped area around the edge of the floor seating. Please refer to your commencement program, pages 51 to 54, to the order in which the graduates will be recognized. Graduates majoring in agribusiness through wildlife and outdoor enterprise management are seated on the west side and will cross the stage from west to east, and the remaining graduates are on the east side and will cross from the east to west. Please prepare for your photo just before gradu uh, the graduate approaches the stage, then return to your seat so others can access the area. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. John Floros, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension to proceed with the conferral of degrees. Dean Floros. Would all the graduates now please rise for the conferral of degrees. Come on. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regions and upon recommendation by the faculty and upon completion of all degree requirements, I'm pleased to confer upon you the respective degrees you have earned at Kansas State University. Graduates, please move your tassels to the left side of your mortar board. A 
Again, congratulations on earning your degree and best wishes in your future careers. At this time, college administration will prepare for the diploma covered presentation. The department heads will present diploma covers to each graduate as they cross the stage, and K-State Provost Dr. April Mason and I will have the pleasure of congratulating the graduates as they cross the stage. At this time, my graduates may be seated. As we begin our diploma presentation, we'd like to take a moment to honor a member of the K-State Ag family who is not with us to celebrate today, as we award a posthumous degree to Tyler Andrew Nelson. Tyler's diploma will be received by his father, Mark, and mother, Jennifer Rechsteiner. I will go ahead. I will now introduce the graduates for individual recognition on the stage and presentation of diploma covers. We will proceed in order by major as listed in your program on pages 51 through 54. I would like to thank our faculty marshals, Dr. Chad Miller, Christine Wilson, Mickey Ransom, Dave, Nel Dave Nichols, Jason Ellis, and Barry Bradford, who will assist in directing you to and from the stage. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Alan Featherstone, head of the Department of Agricultural Economics, who will present diploma covers to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness and the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Economics. Matthew Dwayne Beeler. Madison Renee Cohen. Jonathan Andrew Finley. Clinton Newell Glazier. Caleb Ryan Graber. Elizabeth Joy Harner, and presenting her diploma is her father, Dr. Joe Harner, Professor and Department Head of, Bi of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. <laughs> Emily Renee Harris. Perry Nicole Johnson. Stetson Lee Eunuch. Keegan Michael Kelly. Trenton Matthew Langbart. William Allen Leinberger. Taylor John Locke. Zach Tyler Moore. Michael Moritz. Arissa Catherine Moyer. Holly Brock Douglas Needham. Tanner Richard Newell. Sydney Nicole Prawley. Dylan Leo Rethman. Hannah Lynn Ruder. 
Catherine Lee Schartz. Noah Cooper Sneederjohn. Matt Patrick Seiwert. Zane Shelton Sloan. Derek William Steinlogge. John Scott Stiles. Connor Dale Stuckey. Jessica Lynn Summerauer. Garrett Matthew Swanson. Ashley Marie Tankersley. Austin Joseph T. Meyer. Juan Andres Troche. Amelia Elizabeth Vasco. Morgan Nicole Wiltsey. Derek Andrew York. Preston Charles Samuel Zenick. Leah Chong. At this time, we will recognize the students who are graduating with a degree in agricultural economics. Rogelio Rivas Benitez Florentine. Blake Dylan Bergling. Jacob William Bott. Colby Ray Brownrig. Connor Leslie Corrado. Caleb Dean Cromwell. Aaron Michael Diedrich. Brian Stephen Eck. Landon Burke Farrar. Jacob Peter Fisher. Nathan Sander Gale. Ryan James Getzman. Kimsa Natasha Gomez. Beth Marie Hafliger. Hunter Lane Heyer. Garrett Michael Holliday. Corey Lee Holthouse. Corey Lynn Hostetler. Garrett Caves. Leah Sharice Clausen. Garrett Michael Kester. Peter Daniel Creer. Kurt Dean Lockwood. Janellis Faith Cora Long. Scott Joseph Lewis. Shane Joseph Mainen. Stephen Russell Mick. Richard James Reichert. Gabriel John Scolot. Andrew James Smith. 
Jacob Tilden Stroll. Lucas Stephen Sudbeck. Casey Dean Thayer. Logan Carl Williams Sr. Alex Zachary Winter. Yui Young. Jacob Porter Yinkst. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Chris Boone, head of the Department of Communications and Agricultural Education, who will present diploma covers uh, to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with an Agricultural Communication and Journalism major. Marie Christine Annexted. Lindsay Suzanne Ashmore. Kaylee Marie Blythe. Charles C. Joanne Craig. Thanks. Melissa Leanne Grimmel. Caitlin Connor Hagens. Brooke Allison Harshaw. Devin Nicole King. Jacob Robert Pletcher. Mallory Joe Strom. Presented diploma covers to our agricultural education graduates is Dr. Steve Harbstreit. Morgan Leslie Ansel. Shelby Lynn Bargman. Hannah Elizabeth Bame. Erica Lynn Hairsnake. Michelle Lynn Keener. Ashley Catherine Lear. Andrea Joe Mattis. Blair Ann Nicholson. Alicia Sarah Ord. Matthew Thomas Peterson. Alfonso Mark Prescott. Austin Lee Steinfort. Ashley Nicole Tun. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Joe Harner, head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering, who will present to graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Technology Management. Landon Nolan Bailey. Colton Joseph Beck. Eric Thomas Cummings. John Scott Frank. Aaron Matthew Clausen. Jenna Michelle Culp. Matthew Kent McMillan. Joshua Michael Medeiros. Aaron Lewis O'Brien. David Ray Olberding. Nathan Allen Peterson. Mikhail Isaiah Regular. Lance Adam Schrader. Clinton Jeffrey Schaefer. Eli Monroe Shepard.
Tyler William Siebels. Nicholas Theodore Waltz. Next, Dr. Gary Prezinski, head of the Department of Agronomy, will present to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agronomy. Jeffrey Joseph Albers. Arnaldo Umberto Alvarez Umana. Ruth Anna Bartel. John Michael Bergkamp. Bliss Madison Betson. Nick Warren Borth. Clayton Daryl Bott. Aaron Brinkman. Brett Marshall Bullinger. Alan Jerry Carlson. Benjamin Andrew Coombs. Ryan T. Colson. Peyton Cooper DeLong. Tyler Dean Hers. Brianna May Chorus. Nathan Jess Larson. Brett Allen Lynn. Brett Miles Manville. Joshua Roy Mitchell. Troy Jackson Osmeyer. Hunter Lane Rouse. Matthew Allen Schneiderweiss. Jonathan Michael Shook. Seth Tracy. Christina Dawn Wilson. Next, Dr. Candace Shoemaker, head of the Department of Horticulture, Forestry, and Recreation Resources, will present to graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture with majors in Horticulture, Park Management and Conservation, and Wildlife and Outdoor Enterprise Management. Ryan Robert Ackerman. Brittany Bonine. Connor Michael Castor. Kristen Diane Evans. Jesse Ryan Gilmore. Brady Jacob Hendricks. Kayla Marie Hutchison. Matthew Lawrence Kensler. Craig Thomas Coleman. Crystal Jewel Lamb. Simon David Luce. Tyler Philip Lutz. Justin William Malone. Kale Eugene Mueller. Nathan Patrick Nordstead. Matthew Stephen Overby. Antonio Ramirez. Pallas Alexandria Schnitker. Brooke Mercedes Stifler. Levi Vote. Adeline Lynn Wassenberg. Kellen Lee Womachill. Next are our graduates receiving the, a degree in Park Management and Conservation. Brandon Lloyd Allais. 
Corey Thomas Bennett. Taylor Suzanne Fireborn. Zuleika Rebecca Gerardo. Benjamin Thomas Hutchinson. Joshua Allen Kiter. Lindsay Renee Myers. Connor Thane O'Flanagan. Caitlin Elizabeth Parenti. Scott Andrew Patton. Annette Catherine Treeb. Thomas Reed Ward. Receiving degrees in wildlife and outdoor enterprise management are Christopher David Bernhardt, Jr. Richard Wellington Biswell. Taylor James Bivens. Trenton Cole Blythe. Austin Ryan Ingram. Avery Tucker Lacombe. Jacob Lee Lucart. Jonathan Kelly Owens. Daniel Scott Towsley. Brady Robert Waldire. We will now pause to change sides and introduce the remaining graduates, starting with graduates in animal sciences and industry. And then I think. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Ken Odie, head of the Department of Animal Science and Industry, who will present to graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Animal Science and Industry. Patrick William Arkfeld. Lauren Natalie Barlow. Leah Marie Bartek. Daniel Allen Baum. Jordan Lawrence Bell. Heather Elizabeth Betson. Katie Lynn Berglund. Chance Grayson Berry. Rachel Catherine Black. James Matthew Bogner. Jenna Rochelle Bogner. Heidi Ann Bonablist. Catherine Margaret Boreas. Blaine Michael Boswell. Jared Robert Boric. Tyler Nicole Brewington. Stephanie Nicole Brown. Tanner Ladding Lynn Bruner. JC Nicole Buznitz. Kayla Lee Kane Evans. Kaylin McKenzie Caps. 
Alexandria Morgan Carnes. Kevin Thomas Cavalli. Juan Cheveria. Christopher Ray Chavez. Carl Allen Clausen. Myra Keisha Cotton Caballero. Tracy Elizabeth Davis. Chance John Deppy. Catherine Grace Elijah. Allison Marie Emery. Kylie Paige Ewing. Lauren Michelle Forshee. Ashley Elizabeth Fowler. Kristen Elizabeth Fox. Taylor Samantha Friedfeld. Cole Henry Gardner. Ransom Mark Gardner. Marie Louise Gavin. Courtney Francis Gelhouse. Cole Alexander George. Taylor Denton Lewis Hake. Riley Marie Halter. Jessica Hayes. Jill Hokum. Cheyenne Joe Holder. Maggie Hewlett. Jarvis Cortez Jefferson. Tony Don Jennings. David Larry Jensen. Nicole Ryan Jensen. Casey Aaron Johnson. Mitchell Riley Johnson. Nathan Edward Keegan. Kristen Elise Keelan. Jennifer Lynn Kelly. Garrett Dean Kern. Elena Jean Kevrin. Mary Margaret Klein. Emily Alexandria Cornell. Andrew Lawrence Kieser. Broderick Stewart Kyle. Christian Danielle Lambert. Kaylee Louise Lewis. Brittany K. Lockwood. 
Justin Quint Lockwood II. Philip Glenn Loafman. Jillian Marie Martin. Crystal Martinez. Ashley Nicole Matthews. Curtis J. Morgan. Samantha Jean Nicholson. Christina Rachel Novak. Sarah Nicole Nooch. Alyssa Aaron Oates. Jack Lloyd Oates. Garrett Lee Osh. Caitlin Ann Anoka. Jessica Christine Pearson. Chelsea Annette Porter. Samantha McKinley Prester. Mickey Paul Ramirez. Nicholas Brigetti. Guinevere Rana Richards. Kinsey Richards. Luke Alexander Reese. Jessica Marie Rutherford. Cassandra Zapata Smith. Wyatt Joseph Schrader. Shelby K. Schultz. Cynthia Yvonne Shirley. Delaney Jane Seeley. Catherine Ann Self. Seth Aaron Sharp. Larissa Gail Sika. Tyler Matthew Seek. Kelsey Lynn Smith. Spencer Catherine Smith. Andrea Snyder. Maisha Marie Levon Sud. Cole Douglas Spickler. Eli Conrad Stalker. Mary Ellen Staub. Elizabeth Ann Stitzel. Ann Elizabeth Stolsteimer. Stacy Danielle Stringer. Timothy Allen Steeter. Danielle Marie Stewerman. Morgan Marie Taylor. Tyler Craig Tebow. 
Cody Michael Tice. Courtney Marie Thomas. Amber Nicole Thomas. Hadia Laree Celestian Tony. Sochi Vazquez. Timothy Toby Wagoner. Megan Walsh. Brecca Lee Waugh. Molly Ann Weber. Alexandria Rose Wilkie. Polly Michelle Wolf. Timothy Clark Weedle. Stephen Roy Westrip. Michaela Kinsey Wood. Evan Manuel Woodbury. Zachary Donald Zambrano. Next, Dr. Curtis Kastner, Director of Food Science Institute, will now present to the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Industry. John Unruh, Dr. John Unruh will be presenting. Andrea, Andrea Barrera Gonzalez. Audrey Lynn Boken. Gail Myrene Bungie. Nicholas Evan Cody. Caitlin Helen Ehrman. Nicholas Anthony Beef. Brian Ramos Gayton. Laura Galvin. Wesley Michael Green. Nicole Marie Cook. Allison Christina Laguna. Nathan William Loudon. Ching Ling Lee. Thailin Lau. Anna Louise Marie Munson. Emily Catherine Plapp. Faith Denise Rasmussen. Corey Anthony Robin. Chasta Sahagel. Si Tong Song. Elizabeth Ruthann Stone. Lisa Fang Tang. Go. 
Wayne Carl Wadeen Jr. Abby Works. Next, Dr. Gordon Smith, head of the Department of Grain Science and Industry, will present to graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science degrees in Bakery Science and Management, Feed Science and Management, and Milling Science and Management. We will be starting with our Bakery Science and Management graduates. Marie Catherine Feldposch. Brishna Marie Flores. Nan Ga. Harrison Dale Brent Helmick. Carly June Hoffman. Emily Faye James. Christine Victoria Johnson. Alicia Kolick Killian. Myra Angelina Perez Fajardo. Lindsay Page Teese. Shiwi Shu. Next, we present to our graduates in feed science and management Amanda Nicole Dayton, Melody Ann Dickman, Mithili Manny. Joshua Dakota Mers. Kristen Renee Murray. Christopher Anthony Mushrush. Jordan Joseph Roadkey. Colin Wyatt Ross. Kayla Hazel Sheldon. Savannah Claire Stewart. Deborah Ann Stone. Drew Allen Wills. Jesse Danielle Wilson. Ashton David Yoder. Next, we'll be presenting to graduates in Milling Science and Management. Caleb Lee Alquist. Spencer Daniel Ballon. Zeke Joseph Burlball. Mackian Lee Cullinan. Spencer Warren Dively. James Scott Lesko. Matthew Austin Salter. Connor Jacob Sell. Dr. Boggs, that concludes our diploma presentations.
put the words up behind it. Yeah. Yeah. We just can't see. Yeah, that's the problem. Let's give a round of applause to all of our graduates. <laughs> graduates, just remember that commencement is not about the ending, it's about the beginning. The beginning of new careers, for some of you new families, and for all of you a new stage in your lives. But you can be proud that you are a graduate of Kansas State University, the first land-grant university in the nation. As you go forward, I want you to remember what truly made the college, makes the College of Agriculture great is the involvement and expectations of our alumni. Thus, we expect you to keep bleeding purple, to stay involved with K-State, and continue to challenge us to be the best that we can be. I'm confident that I speak for all of the faculty, the staff, and administrators when I say that it has truly been our privilege to contribute to your education and be a part of your lives for the last few years. We're very proud of you. We wish you the very best. Again, let's one more last round of applause for our graduates. Thanks to all of you for participating in this special occasion for our graduates. We ask that you please remain seated for the formal recessional. The graduates will follow the stage party to the rear of the floor seating and up the far north stairs to the concourse area. We ask that families then ex exit immediately behind your section and meet the graduates on the upstairs concourse. This will help clear the floor for the next ceremony that follows. Thank you once again to our musicians for sharing your musical talents and to Emily Harris, Bob Brockelman, and Kurt Lockwood for speaking at today's ceremony. Again, my congratulations and best wishes to all of you. For our adjournment, would everyone please stand and sing the alma mater. <laughs>